Hey everybody, I have another unboxing today. This is the Planet Gemini. Planet, it's a British company, and this is a new PDA they released that's kind of inspired by the 90s. You know, in the 90s, before smartphones, everybody loved one of these. Like, it's called PDA Pocket Digital Assistant. And they actually launched this on Indiegogo, and it got backed over $2 million right away because everybody loved it. So I'm excited to test this out. This unit is not new because this is a demo review unit. Oh, I like this box a lot. So this is how it looks like. Um, the device, I mean. So this is not a new unit. It's been opened before, so this is not a true unboxing. Um, but I figure it might as well. So this is the device. It um, I'm going to put this to the side first. Let's get finished unboxing first. Okay, I'm doing an unboxing here because my normal table is completely packed right now because um, I just came back from a trip. I went to Korea. Okay, so you have some stickers here. Obviously, some are already gone because this somebody you know somebody else had already tested this device. You have an instruction booklet right here, and a cover removal tool. I'm not sure what this is. I'll look into this later. I'm pretty sure it's to open something, you know, maybe change batteries or something with the device. Right here, you have a plug. This is a China plug. Surprising because this device was shipped to me from the UK. I was expecting to get to get a British plug, but this is a China plug. Or maybe that's a European plug, actually. I think that's a European plug. And then you have here a USB-C cable. So that's it. Pretty bare bones unboxing. Other than this part, I really... Oh, the box is falling apart too. Other than this, I really like this part right here. Okay, so let's try opening up this device. I'm excited. I'm gonna try to uh, make this my work computer for a couple of days. See if I can put up with the tiny keyboard. Oh, okay. So it opens quite. Feels nice. It's hard to open at first. Like it's pretty stiff, but once you pop it open, it, it kind of flicks open. The keys do feel pretty responsive, though. There's a lot of travel, a lot of spring to them. And this um, device runs Android, I believe, so you can run all Android apps, and you can even use it as a phone. So I'm going to try it out. I'll be back. Hey, guys, I'm back. So I used the Planet Gemini for about a week. I tried to use this as my main work device, but unfortunately, I could not. I'll get into that later. So let's talk about the good stuff first and just basic specs. So you have a 5.9-inch display with an 18 by 9 aspect ratio. So it's a little bit wider and a little bit taller than usual. And it looks pretty good. 1080p resolution. It's an LCD panel, but colors look very good. So right off the bat, the Gemini, it's a great media consumption device, like a movie playing device if you fly a lot. Because um, I fly a lot, and a lot of times I'll try to put up my laptop to watch movies. And the dude in front of me will recline a seat, and it will basically push my laptop like damn near off the tray table. And then, and then I'll be... And then there's no way I can put the laptop back with the seat reclined all the way down here. So I'll, sometimes we'll use a phone to watch. But you know, you just get a little bit tired holding the phone in your hand. And propping it, just you have to find something to prop the phone. So this solves a lot of problems. Um, you can watch movies on a plane like this. And just no matter how far back the person reclines the seat, it shouldn't get in the way. There's a headphone jack on the side. So you'll be able to plug in speaker, um, earphones, or use... Bluetooth speakers, and then there's also dual speakers right here on the left and right side, so you do get stereo sound if you want to watch movies um, in private at home or something, or just with friends. So let's check out the sound really quick. I'm going to get this out of the way first. So 50% volume. So the volume is a little bit uh, low, overall volume, but now you got the 100% volume, but it's okay. So... So not much distortion, even though it's not that loud. So that's one of the good about the device. Um, the other good part is, as I mentioned, unboxing the build quality. This is very nice. It feels very good. Opening up, there's a satisfying click. And then, you know, the metal build is just very uh, nice. Let me unlock my phone. It runs Android. Uh, unfortunately, 7.1.1, so it's not the newest Android, but it's good enough. 
everything runs smoothly. The uh, chips are inside the MediaTek Helio X20 with 4 gigs of RAM. So the specs are kind of like a mid-tier um, Chinese smartphone. Like, you know, a, a lot of the phones I tested, like an old Meiju phone or something like a Elephone S8 or something. So about the same power. So that means this is more than good enough as an internet device if you want to get on the web and stuff. But the main reason I was so excited about this device is because I wanted to use it as a mini laptop because I am a digital nomad. I hate that term, but unfortunately it is true. I'm a digital nomad because I don't have a full-time office job. I'm a freelance writer, a tech producer. So I make videos obviously for my YouTube channel, but as some of you guys know, this is not a professional quality video. Like I'm a very, I'm a very amateur in terms of making videos. That's because I'm mainly a writer. I write for the South China Morning Post and also Forbes and also like three other publications. So I I write everything from mostly tech related, but I also do movie reviews. So I'm on Rotten Tomatoes too. You search for me on Rotten Tomatoes. So I write a lot of stuff. So I try to have some type of machine on me at all times I can write. So sometimes I'll have a laptop on me or my iPad Pro, but other times when I cannot I have a setup that I quite like. Let me grab it right now. So I usually have these two things on me at all times in my backpack. I just have this on me every time I have my backpack out. This is a foldable keyboard that I purchased in Hong Kong, really cheap, about 25 US. I like that it's almost a full-size keyboard and there's a trackpad. And this, as you can tell, it's a prop to prop up a smartphone. That's because I always have a smartphone on me so I figure if I have these two devices, then I can get work done anytime, anywhere. So a lot of times I'll get a last minute job that I need to do. Then I'll just go find a coffee shop somewhere and then set it up, boom. And I can type right away and I can use a trackpad to move the arrow. And if and I actually can work like this. I've written articles for Forbes and SCMP completely with this setup. But you know, it's still, even though this isn't heavy at all, it's still a little bit clunky to carry essentially two different things on top of your of your smartphone. So I, I was really excited about the Planet Gemini because I thought this could replace everything because this is also an Android phone. You can actually make phone call with this thing. You just have to open up right here to put in a SIM tray. It's a little bit difficult to do, but once you do it, it stays in there securely and you have two, two slots right here that are both receivers and earpiece so that means you can hold the phone up like this or like this against your head and make phone calls you won't be able to see who's calling you but you can answer calls or use google assistant to make phone calls by pressing here so i was very excited about this but unfortunately um the same problem i have with the gpd pocket this keyboard even though it feels good with good travel it's just a little bit too cramped for me i was not able to type well on this that's because i'm a very fast typer i type 107 words per minute that's my average speed i'm a touch typer too so i don't need to look at the keyboard i touch my feel 107 words per minute so this keyboard i've been using it for a week and even now i still can't type on it really fully without making mistakes and i did a t i did a test on typingtest.com and i was only able to score like 45 words per minute on this but to be fair, I tried that test the first day I got the device. Now that it's been a week later, I can bump that speed up a little bit to about 60 words per minute. So I can type 60 words per minute. Um, that's still really slow by my standards though. So this really gets in the way of my work. Another problem with this device that makes it hard for me to work is this display, it's 18 by 9 aspect ratio, which actually it's great for a smartphone, but not good for a laptop because I don't need a screen to be this wide. If anything, I want more a screen to be taller so I can see more information. So you look at it right now, I'm looking at a, at a website and I can't even, I can barely scroll through article one story per page. Like right now, like the whole photos won't even load. And if I open something like Google Docs, like it's just, there's just not a lot of space for me to type 
before I run out of room. I would prefer if, if this display didn't have a 16 by 9 or it didn't have an 18 by 9 aspect ratio actually. I much prefer a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So it's a shame that I was unable to type full speed on this keyboard because the keys themselves actually feel very good. And just the overall build quality is excellent. Um, and I like that there's two USB-C ports, one for charging, the other for data transfer and also for display output. So this is, um, overall I really like the design and I like watching movies on this thing. And it's just cool that I'm trying something different instead of yet another smartphone. Like, you know, they're all starting to look the same. So I really admire Planet for coming out with this, but I think they were trying too hard to make this portable because they wanted to make this fit into people's pockets. Um, so I would like this device a lot better if it, if it was just like an inch wider, if it just came out to here and then right here, it'd be like a half an inch taller. So the keyboard just gives me a little bit more room. Even an inch would probably bump my typing speed up by 20, 30 words. And as, as it is now, I cannot fully type on this. Uh, comfortably anyway so I ultimately still default to this keyboard when I'm on the go and I need to get a story out I can type on this keyboard close to 100 words per minute so close enough to my real speed so I wish Planet had implemented something like this with this build like just I don't know like slap a monitor on it slap this part of the screen on it and just have a foldable keyboard like this like I wouldn't mind if the device was just this size like, it'll be a little bit thicker with a screen on top, whatever, man. Just make it a little bit thicker, and I can have a screen and a fold-out keyboard like that. I would love it if it was like that. As it is now, this is a cool novelty. And um, because it can boot uh, Linux, like double, like dual boot lin Linux, so you can do a lot of cool stuff on it if you are a hardcore geek and, like, a tinkerer and all that. But I'm not. I'm just someone who wants a device to get work done. And, unfortunately, the Planet Gentleman and I does not fulfill my needs so that's it for now i'll test this a little bit more i'm just a little bit bummed out that i can't get full speed typing on this keyboard there, you know gemini does a lot of cool things like there's a dock that pops up i think it's pretty cool it allows you to jump between apps a little bit faster and the 4200 milliamp battery inside it's enough to power this device all day so if only i can type better on this keyboard i would definitely buy one and make this my you know the device that's always in my backpack so i can do work anywhere so unfortunately i don't know if i can get used to this keyboard thanks for watching